<laughs> what do you say we go on the Colorado Trail? today. <laughs> I think it's because we're at about almost 10,000 feet. <sighs> you can see my breath a little bit. And now it's time for the frozen Nutella peanut butter tortilla wrap breakfast extravaganza. Good morning Henry. How'd you sleep buddy? Good morning. I slept pretty well. It's a bit right. cold but it's good. Yeah, it's a little cold. That's all right. How long does it take all you goofballs to pack up in the morning? Usually kind of a long time. We're not very f efficient, but Don't. especially when this get kid your... can't get out of the tent. There's but... still somebody in the tent. Oh, yeah. man. Come on. Wake up, buddy. <laughs> wake up. <Paul> <laughs> wake up. <laughs> There's biking to be done. All right. It looks like I have everything packed onto the bike. You always want to double check. Make sure you're not leaving anything in the field. Thank you, ground. There's the goofballs. Let's go say goodbye. Well, it was fun camping with you guys. You guys have a good one. Yeah. Best of luck down the road. Yep. Same goes for you. You're going to have a great time. It's so good to meet you, brother. Have fun out there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Adios. Nos vemos. Here we go. Another day in beautiful Colorado paradise. Today, I will head back onto the Colorado Trail in about seven miles. I'll be done with this wilderness detour. And I'm excited about that. You know, as much as you can crank out miles on these detours, I came here for the single track. I really enjoyed meeting those young guys, you know? It's inspirational. I never did anything that big when I was in high school. And they're out here on their own, their first bikepacking trip. <laughs> They've barely been mountain biking in their lives. And they're just figuring it out as they go, you know? And I like that. I'm very impressed. The sky is a little bit hazy. I'm thinking there's some forest fire smoke in the air. Whenever these sunrises and sunsets are a little bit too beautiful, it's usually because of forest fire smoke. So today I'm gonna to try to get to Silverthorn, which is a little bit off route, but it's very on route for my life because that's where my brother lives, and his wife, and his cute little kids, and I'm gonna try to make it there. There's gonna be two big mountain passes in the way first, Kenosha and Georgia Pass, and I uh, should be able to make it. It's about 50 miles away, and guess what? It's time for a little bit of no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Ah, it's gonna be a beautiful Sunday. I can feel it. You know when you wake up and you just feel like it's gonna be a good day. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel most of the time, but especially when I'm on a bike trip. The days out here are just so spectacular in every way. This is when I feel most alive when I'm on my bike all day and sleeping under the stars and just loving life to the max. Looky here, we're back on the Rad Ale. It only took 70 miles to get back to this point, and I'm excited to be back on this beautiful single track. Oh, baby, feels so good to be back. I found it's my lucky sage 
and it smells really, really fresh. It's got a powerful smell. I'm gonna keep this with me. It's my good luck, Sage. Nice little downhill to get it started, but now it's up. And you can tell by how hard I'm breathing. Whew, there's not as much oxygen in the air up here. Even though I'm from Boulder, this is about twice the altitude of Boulder. So I'm feeling it. And the sign back there said, six miles to Kenosha Pass. steep technical uphills. I get into a bit of a meditative mode. I just kind of put my head down and crank. Whereas when I'm on like a, a dirt road that's just flat, I can just ride and daydream. But <laughs> this is a little steep. But when I'm doing stuff like this, I really need to pay attention <laughs> to what I'm doing and really crank hard because it's difficult. So less daydreaming time more hammer time. And I like the mix, you know? So here I am riding along and I see a cute dog. Henry, bring me the stick. Bring me the stick, buddy. Yeah, give me that stick. And yeah, well, it's coming down right there. There you go, buddy. What a cute dog. And what's your name? Karen. Karen, and you're doing a little hiking with the dog. Yeah. What's it like to hike with a dog? It is great. Uh, he's such a great companion. I can talk to him the whole time. The thing I say most often is, Henry, wait. Wait, Henry. Henry, wait. Because <laughs> he gets too excited? Because he's so far ahead of me, and I don't want him to run into a bear yeah. or a moose. That must be, make you feel more comfortable at nighttime, huh? Yes. Here, bring me this stick a little closer. There you go, buddy. You're just like my friend Mira. You want to play with Mira someday? Oh, okay. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, you're exactly like Mira. <laughs> There you go, let it go, let it go. Okay, you ready? You ready? Boom! Oh, this feels so good. I love playing with dogs. He loves being played with, right? <laughs> well, I wish you all the best on the trail. Thank you, thank yeah. you. All right, bye Henry, are you coming with me? <laughs> bye! Oh, that was fun. Good for the soul to play with a little doggy. Trail dog, looks like he's coming with me. <laughs> you coming with me, Henry? <laughs> Mountains. Whoa, that's beautiful. Beauty, 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 beautiful. smile smile out of pure joy this is incredible
most dangerous thing I do today is probably crossing this road with Sunday camper traffic. Gosh, what a zoo. There's a lot of people here. All I need to do is get there. Hurry. All right, I might have an opening. Okay, it's close. Okay. I did it. All right. So here I am daydreaming amongst the Aspens and I run into this group and I'm like, on your left. And I go by, they're like, Ryan Van Duser, how you going? <laughs> good, good. Hello, nice hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you actually watch the videos, huh? Oh yeah. All of them. You tell, me your, tell me your story a little bit. Well, I, uh, I was in desperate need of uh, some weight loss and uh, I uh, had it a lot of- It was COVID. Yeah, well- We were at home. <laughs> I'd had a bariatric surgery to lose weight, and I'd lost all but about 40 pounds, yet to go. And I said, God, I just discovered you accidentally on YouTube. Next thing you know, I was on my bike every day, uh -huh. lost the final 40 pounds, lost a total of 115 pounds, and... Uh, uh, and we're now vacationing in Colorado. <laughs> Doing or, hiking. Yeah, which, which I love the guy it. that used to be on the couch. That's yeah. so cool. So. You got out there. Yes. You we did, did it. We did. It <laughs> and where awesome. where are you from? Independence, Missouri. Oh really? Yes. No way. Yes. Yeah. So we still watch you. Oh, I time. appreciate it. It means yeah. the world to me. Yeah. yeah. And what do you love most about this newfound life of being outdoors and stuff? It's a mood lifter. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like if I'm indoors. Yeah. I'm depressed. I have to get outside. It's a desperate need to get out. You know, I yeah. didn't have that before for yeah. a decade yeah. or so in my life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you're proof that it makes a huge difference in your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so and awesome. And I think the kids are happy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. These are the kids. Yeah. yeah, these are the kids. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Colorado. Yeah. We love it here. <laughs> you love it here. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And look at these smiles. Those are genuine <laughs> smiles Cute. from being in the outdoor ton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so it's cool. Good. Good. It was so wonderful to meet you. Nice you just meet made you. my heart happy. Ours too. <laughs> Thanks for Ours being too. patron supporters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And we, this... we talked about going to Boulder to actually oh, really? try to run into you. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and because you get a we get a cup of coffee or something, mm -hmm. right? Totally. It's on your thing. Or That's something, right. Yeah, right? absolutely. This is better. No, not coffee. A burrito. Oh, it was a burrito. Yeah. A burrito. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, but it's better to meet on the trail. Coffee. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is your patron reward. Yes. I came here today because I knew you'd be here and awesome. wanted to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> What kind, kind people. So glad I ran into them and was able to wish them well on their Colorado vacation. Drove out here all the way from Missouri. Got all the kids with them. Love it. You know, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but it's just, it's cool to know that people watch my videos all over the place and that it really impacts them in a positive way. That's always been the goal is to Make the world a better place, you know, and inspire people to get outside. And uh, when I meet people in real life who tell me that, it just hits home. I call that the emotional paycheck, you know, because YouTube doesn't pay big bucks. But when I have an encounter like that, that's worth $10 million. More beautiful Aspen. I am in heaven! It's gonna take me forever to finish this trail <laughs> as much as I stop and talk to people and film flowers, but I don't care. This is absolutely stunning. Oh God, that was sketchy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh man, I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> I was really close to 
falling off that. It would have been catastrophic. So I figure this is my lucky creek and I'm going to fill up. Cold mountain water. I don't think I've ever seen so many columbines in one place in my life. Whoa. Way to go, Colorado. Your flowers are awesome. like to see this trail magic and it's gonna be a surprise it doesn't say what the magic is all right I found the trail magic people hello how's it going very good you're lucky you're like the number two person for the day oh really yeah and what is what do you have here what's the magical uh, we got hot dogs we got quesadillas are you kidding we got uh, <laughs> what else we have we're gonna do pancakes if people wanted them that's Going amazing whatever you want What's your name? I'm Luke, but my friends call me Bus. What's up, Bus? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Alina or Abstract. So great to meet nice you. To this meet is you. amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. It's a whole setup. So I make these sticker designs. They're all based on my own through hikes um, on the PCT and AT. And yeah, these are my silhouette ones. And what inspired you two to be out here today? Luke and I connected over social media. And Luke, you tell the story. I don't know. I feel like we just became friends because yeah. we both hike and do things that are fun. So you did this last year, you said? Yeah, I did it last year. It was a good time. Now I'm just trying to give a little back and uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. <laughs> so you hiked all of this in here? We did this morning, yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. And we hiked it in yesterday morning and we'll hike it out. We have to hike it in and out every day. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, like, and so what are you going to make now? Quesadilla for you, man. Quesadilla. Yeah. Oh. oh, man, that looks I'm good. Gonna go. gotta get Look it. at this cute little monster. Oh, yeah, just lay down there, buddy. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Luke, thank you so much for this quesadilla. You're the man. Yeah, have a good one. Oh, it's so nice to have some hot food. Yes. Have a good one. Keep on spreading the love. Thank you. Well, today has been a great day so far. I haven't gotten very far, but that's okay. Having the time of my life. Sometimes you gotta go slow and take it all in. And now I'm on my way up Georgia Pass, which looks very steep. So it's a good thing I got that quesadilla. So these cameras never give you a real good idea of how steep things are, but let me assure you, this is very steep. I'm gonna be going up to 12,000 feet. I think I'm at about just under 10 right now. So I've got a ways to go. Let's see here. It helps to grunt. Gets you up and over the big stuff. There we go. Come on, Ryan. It says the grade is 8% here. That's pretty good. And sometimes you just have to stop and walk. So I've been riding full blast for like 30 minutes and I've barely made any progress on my altimeter. <laughs> oh, but poco a poco, keep going forward, you'll get there. Water. Here we go. Okay, we're pedaling. We're going. Come on, buddy, come on. Come on. All right, I'm 
getting above tree line now. Getting higher. <laughs> yeah. This has been a long slog uphill. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to ride a bike with one hand when you're going uphill, technical train. Excuse me, I'll get back to you shortly. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Top of Georgia Pass, almost 12,000 feet. And it is beautiful up here. There's really like not any clouds in the sky. Oh, my favorite part. Time to go downhill. Oh my God, this is so fun. <laughs> so fun. I'm loving this. Lock. Can't go through that. Here I am on a busy highway, and my brother is nice enough to come and pick me up. I'm five miles outside of where he lives in Silverthorne, and then tomorrow I will start right back there. I've been dreaming about this meal all day. Do you know that, Carter? So I am here at my brother's house at the Van Duzer restaurant. Carter is the chef of the day. This made us a great meal. This is my brother. He was too shy last time to be on camera for the Great Divide videos. That's my wonderful brother. He really doesn't like to be on camera, so I'm just gonna hold the camera here and make him awkward. Ah. And this is his wonderful wife, Haley. Hi, Haley. Hi. Thanks for having a stinky biker over. <laughs> We're used to it. Yeah. I'm cutting. So, so these I'm are the sauteed mushrooms a la Carter. Yes. Thank you all so much. This is really special. This means a lot to me. So. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> it is time for our special summer tradition making s'mores. Sticky. Sticky. Perfectly s'mored. So, Brinley, you're going to give me your bed for the night? Yeah. You're very nice. I promise not to pee in it. Why would you. Eh. Eh. <laughs> no, seriously. Thank you very much. It's been good hanging out with you two. And tickle your feet. Good night.